Hi guys, this is the Filink Bullet IP66 rated waterproof and weatherproof camera. Described as professional. It's got a metal case, so it's quite nice. I bought this to sit in our garden and basically do wildlife video recording. It's got Ethernet and power connectors on the camera. Comes with a nice little metal stance, quite solid. Okay, construction wise, seems pretty good at the moment. Um, power supply is a brick style and I can change that out for a UK style socket. It does clip on there. Now I also bought a power extension for this because uh, I wanted to extend the power out into the garden. It's a 12 volt 1000 milliamps uh, power supply. Isn't that one, one amp? Okay. Um, this is a waterproof junction box you can use to extend your cable. Very handy and I use this to good effect in the garden. Very good. Um, a roll plug and some screws for bolting things together. A nice Ethernet cable, always handy, but won't be in use because it will work wirelessly using this aerial, which screws on the back. I like the solid construction of this camera. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, it does seem to be genuinely a weatherproof and very sturdy design, so that's good. Okay, there you are, aerial fitted. Got a little kind of sunshade on it, not quite sure why that's there. Comes with a CD, um, some instructions for the weatherproof junction box, which is self-explanatory really, and a short instruction book, including how to set up the apps for the phones. And you can connect this to Android, PC, Mac, or uh, it's got an iOS app as well for Apple phones if you've got one of those. The camera also comes with a built-in micro SD card slot where you can so you can use it locally to record images, but I'll be using it over a network. Let's log into the web interface and see. There's the camera designation, the PLC-335PW. Um, and uh, we'll log in and have a look and see briefly what the web interface is. I won't take you through the whole process. Um, default login. Okay, there we go. Okay, obviously Rise requires flash, which was initially blocked. Oh, look, a picture. Well, that's a start, and it doesn't seem to be too laggy. Seems not too bad. Okay, well, that's promising. The web interface is uh, nothing to be excited about, but it's functional. Obviously, you can see you can connect to a wireless network. Here's a bit of a picture. Um, in terms of overall wireless range, I have this camera located outside in my front garden. I'd say it's probably about 20 meters away from uh, my router, and I get uh, good quality stream video from the camera at all times, day and night, either using obviously the daylight sensor or the uh, infrared sensor and broadcasting at night. The camera was working absolutely fine when I got it, but I did decide to um, go to the manufacturer's website, which is well laid out, easy to find, um, includes the camera, as you can see. Um, and I downloaded the latest uh, operating firmware and I uploaded it, which is very straightforward. You can see we just super speeded up doing that here. Okay, and we're back to the web interface again. So overall, nothing wrong with the web interface. Works very well. You can remotely watch the camera from uh, mobile devices and your PC over a network wirelessly. No problem. iPad, Android and PC. Let's talk about image quality. So this is the night quality. Now I'm conscious most people are probably going to be using a security camera so you can't really get a really good sense of the range but I would say the range is probably a good 10 meters for good resolution here you can see an example of a hedgehog in our garden okay and um, a couple of things on the camera it's 1920 by 1080 max resolution okay so that's HD resolution isn't it um, it's been outside in our garden now for the best part of four or five months no weatherproofing issues whatsoever. It's still in really good condition. Here's the daylight quality. Okay, another good feature of this camera is that it is ONVIF compatible. So it works very well, for example, with the security software on my Synology DAS. So if any of you are planning to use it for that, it this uh, ONVIF, I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but it's basically generic drivers that are used for example, by Synology, and uh, it can be integrated in a security system, and you could use multiple cameras to, to good effect. Um, you can hear also the micro, uh, microphone in action. You just heard a passing car. I think you'd hear voices very easily. Um, you could certainly make out faces, and you could make out number plates out during the day or night. 
or you can use it for watching rabbits, magpies and hedgehogs like we are.